the third straight game that Trey Lance has suited up and, and not played a snap. I realize I'm asking you this after your best win of the season, but is that still situational? You, you know, there aren't there are packages for him, and you just haven't found the spot for it, or have you made the decision over at least the last three weeks that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to take every snap? No, I haven't made that decision. I mean, the only time I did that really was Chicago week. Um, then Arizona, the game just didn't go the way we wanted. Going into this game, we didn't like a lot of the stuff, just attic wise in terms of what the Rams did. So still had it up, but we didn't see it as changing the defense up a big um, change and giving us too big of an advantage. So that's why we didn't go with it. Do, do you see Trey getting more and more of the playbook in his head as the weeks go on? I, I mean, Trey's got the whole playbook in his head. I mean, he's he was able to do that in training camp. You know, it's um, it's if you work at it and you're going to learn it all, but it's about going through it full speed. It's about going through it at a um, and game time tempo and going against the blitzes and all the stuff that can surprise you and knowing when a play's a good play, when it's a bad play, when you got to get out of something, when you got to get to the number four choice in the progression as opposed to the one you practiced in the week. So. Um, that just comes with experience, and he's getting more and more of it, and she can never get too much. Kyle, you're Kyle, about have to you ever been a part um, of a... Go ahead. Uh, have you ever been part of a game in where the in the first quarter the opposing team only gets eight snaps? Um, I feel like I probably have. I mean... Yeah, definitely. I mean, because you can start out with the ball going a long one, the other team racing. So I'm sure it has an eight snaps, but that, that that first drive definitely felt longer. I don't know if it's the longest one we've ever been on, but it definitely seemed like it. You know, 11 minutes in the game, and someone told me it was like 40 minutes in real time. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. Kyle, this is you've got a short week and a, a cross country trip and a 10 a.m. Uh, West Coast start and you're coming off an emotional win. I mean, there's a lot of ingredients that I guess could could make a coach nervous. Do they make you a, a little anxious about how you guys re- respond with some of those factors? Um, I mean, I want to use the words nervous or anxious, but I, you understand that reality. I mean, uh, those are emotional games and stuff like that you put a lot into. I've definitely seen that happen to teams, but why uh, we weren't trying to celebrate too much last night. I mean, we've We've been frustrated with how this year has gone. Um, we were very happy with how last night went, but um, that's one game. I mean, this league is week to week, and it doesn't matter what you did the week before. I know if we can't get it done this week, it's not going to mean much to us at all. Uh, is kind that of going of your... on that, you said yesterday that you didn't give anybody a game ball because you want to get used to these kinds of wins, and I hope this makes sense. But Earlier in the season, did it feel like maybe the highs were too high, the lows were too lows, and that was getting in everybody's head a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say getting in people's heads. I mean, I, I know I get the question stuff. I just think that overcomplicates it a little bit. It's, you know, we gave game ball out the, um, Chicago week because someone had a baby um, and because Jimmy had a real good game um, going back to his hometown and stuff. Um, but it's not like we give game balls out over every win. I just that that game would have been I couldn't single out one person in that game. If I did, it would have been the whole team, and we very easily could have said that. But I think the team know what I knew what I meant when I said that we don't need one for the whole team, guys. We got to get used to doing this, doing this every week, and um, it's I think it's true. We feel that way. We feel strongly about it, and the game balls are nice and stuff. They all just sit in your garage, and no one really ever looks at them again. We got to make sure we get our records better and get some real game balls and some, make some games a little more meaningful. Kyle, with, with, with Jimmy, uh, it seems like you haven't done as much, at least over the last three weeks, in terms of play action from, from under center and more so from, from the shotgun. Is, is there something you see there that, that helps him, and, and what is it maybe that's contributing to that in your mind? Um, I mean, it, it all depends on how you're running the ball and stuff, and I think we have ran the ball a lot out of shotgun also. But it depends on, again, what you're going against and, you know, always easier for quarterbacks to not take their back to the defense to be able to see stuff which is why you want to be in shotgun a lot um i mean why most guys prefer that but it doesn't always help people get open and honoring the run um so you got to balance that stuff out and you're always trying to make it the easy first goal is to get people open and if you can do that then you want to try to do it the easiest way possible that stuff changes week to week for the players and for what you're looking at 
Uh, I was hoping you could uh, comment. Said after uh, the... Kyle, I was hoping you Go could ahead, comment. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Uh, I, I was hoping Eric you could... Every... Uh, Eric, Eric, we're going to give you the last question, okay? So let me, let me sneak one in first. I um, was hoping you could comment on contributions from a, a, a couple of guys, uh, one on offense, one on defense, uh, Aziz, and then on offense, uh, Juwan Jennings. I think those are two great guys to mention. I mean, Aziz flew around all game, made some big hits. They had one run that was blocked up really well by their team and he was the only guy who could save it from the complete backside, and he went and made the play, and it was huge. What he did on the screen, stopping a big play, um, and just really the energy and the physicality he played with, especially bouncing back from one of his um, not-so-good games on the year from the week before. Um, and who was, though, and um, Juwan? Yeah, Juwan, you know, we didn't know whether he, he had to take over for Sanu, um, get in that role of our, uh, we call the F, which is mainly a slot receiver, did a hell of a job on it. Did a real good job on his pass plays, which got any balls. But um, he did a good job on what he was supposed to do. And then how physical he was in the run game. I mean, he, Juwan's a guy who enjoys playing football. He only plays one way. Very excited out there. And I think the more he gets used to playing, the more he gets out there, um, I think the more the better he'll get and the more he'll help us. Uh, you had said, uh, I think it was after the Colts game, that you know that game was kind of a, a stinker for Garoppolo. But otherwise, you felt he played pretty well um, this season. Has you know, in the last three weeks has he elevated? Uh, um, and is he playing better than you, you thought he was earlier? Um, I mean, I think it depends on the game. It's you know, I think. I mean, yesterday I thought he played very well, especially on third down. You know, it's it's. I think our team plays a lot better when we were able to dictate the game like that with, um, the, you know, by controlling the clock, by how well our defense did, by the defense scoring a touchdown, and by us being able to run it that much. Um, but Jimmy had to be on point and able for us to do that, and that's what he did a lot in 19 when we ran the ball a ton. Um, but that only works if you can convert third downs and make some of the passes that keep you out there. And we needed him when we needed him to do that, I thought he did it very well. We'll do one more, guys. Kyle, what, what did you think of DJ Jones' open field tackle on the uh, on the fake field goal? It was such a good play. I, I didn't realize how good it was until I got home last night. Because I wasn't expecting a fake at the time, and they did it. And I think then you see Flanagan take away the eligible, and then you see uh, the new guy coming through, and you don't know where someone's going to come from. And DJ somehow got there. And watching it last night it was it was an unbelievable play and just being very aware and eating his butt off hey, Kyle just to follow up on that how much did Richard Hightower have those guys prepared you said you weren't necessarily expecting it there but um, was that a a game plan uh, emphasis or I mean they, those guys th those guys do this I mean they've done their special teams, regardless of who's been there, they, they do a lot of fakes, so that's something that Tower is talking about all week. And um, as he, a good special team coach should be, he's, he's extremely paranoid about it. So he's probably annoyed the heck out of everyone in our building about that stuff. And um, you know, I think that's the stuff that helps make guys aware um, so they can make some of the plays that DJ did. And very happy now telling I told you so, but I'm just happy that DJ was on it. Thank you, guys.